What is the overall thermal efficiency of the following Brayton cycle? Air enters the compressor at 100 kilopascals and 298 Kelvin. The pressure leaving the compressor is 1 megapascals. The maximum pressure is 1240 Kelvin. And let's say we know the isentropic efficiency is 80 for the compressor and 85 for the turbine. As usual, pause here and try solving this yourself before watching the solution. This is the third example for the Braden Cycle main lecture, and it uses concepts from the isentropic efficiency main lecture too, so make sure you've studied those two lectures before attempting to solve this problem. The links to those 11 and 8 minute lectures respectively, and all the other lectures of the thermal course are found in the description below. Just like with the second example, this example uses the same Braden cycle we used for the first example. The difference is that this time we're interested in the overall efficiency and not the specifics about the compressor or the turbine. Make sure you've watched the first and second examples first. Since we're using information from those two first examples, this will be a short one. The thermal efficiency of this cycle is the amount of work that we can get out of it over the total amount of energy coming into the system. This energy supplied to the system will be the heat in, which happens between the compressor and the turbine between 2 and 3. Therefore, this heat in per unit mass is H3 minus H2. The energy in the form of work that we can use comes out from the turbine, but part of it is used to feed the compressor. Therefore, the term in the numerator is the net specific work equal to the specific work that the turbine produces minus the specific work that the compressor uses. The specific work that the turbine produces is H3 minus H4, and the specific work that the compressor uses is H2 minus H1. And that's all we need. From examples 1 and 2, we already found H1 and H3 from the given temperature information, and after using the efficiency values for both the compressor and the turbine, we also found the specific enthalpy values for the real states 2 and 4, which are not the same as the isentropic states 2s and 4s. If you don't know where these values are coming from, make sure to watch the previous two example videos, links below. We substitute the values, and we find that the overall efficiency of this Brayton cycle is 26.8%. If you want to check out other examples in the ideal and non-ideal Brayton cycles topic, make sure to check out the links I left down in the description below. You'll also find the links to the other lectures of the Thermo course, as well as other engineering courses. Thanks for watching.